Yeah. <laughs> she used to work there. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. You do know Jack. Yeah. That only took four years to get that one. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. That's it. Yeah. So thanks right. again, Jeff. Thanks, Thank guys, you, Sam. Enjoy this beautiful weather. Yeah. Industrial Park Lot Five request. Somebody is requesting a lot from Industrial Park. Hi Scott. <laughs> Hi Scott. Hi Scott. Hi Scott. How you doing? Mr. Mayor, how you doing? Doing well. Council. Scott, what are you thinking? Well, I think it's a little different on this side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we put shorter chairs there out there. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, to look at flags also for Scotty Vlog and Yes, to reflect on that. So Affleck that had terrible luck with as that far as contacting, um, getting communication. Yes, Jason, I know others have to. Um, okay. So that's a good idea. Okay. So I am here um, for the council to entertain the idea of Lot 5. I understand Lot 5 is still available in Industrial Park. Approximately 300 by 190, give or take some feet. Um, at this point, I just want to approach the council, kind of get some feelers out, see if it is an option for me. If it is an option, um, and no hard feelings if it's not, but if it is, I would put some information together, put some ideas together, um, kind of give some ideas of what side of building and offices and things like that, provide information that is requested. Um, Absol absolutely, there. Scott, if you got a plan for that lot, I mean, that's... That's what we're doing out there is, is trying to fill those lots up for obvious reasons, you know, from jobs to, uh, you know, to taxes. And, um, yeah, if you have some idea of what you want to do there, um, yeah, you know, put together some type of, you know. Yeah, well, it doesn't even have to. We've never had anybody else do an actual it's business. It's a formal one. Right. I mean, just something you're, you know, you're going to build X amount of building, you're going to use it for cold storage, or you're going to use it for, re you know, um, you just have to remember, I mean, once we grant it to you, you've you got, got a year. year. Yes, yeah, yeah, and that would have started. Yeah, started. and that's why I just yeah. want to entertain the idea because yeah. we're in the transition of moving and stuff like that. I want to yeah. make sure that. Um, well, I don't want to see you go anywhere else. I mean, no. if you're going to go from Harding, you better go to Piers <laughs> instead of going anywhere <laughs> yeah. else. <laughs> I think between both my wife and I, the business in this area and we built oh, yeah. in this right. area. We'd like to keep it here too. So. Um, and I think the area <coughs> the location would be definitely efficient for us as far as location and um, well, for materials and all those things. So but like I said I was just here to entertain the idea and if it is something that is positive and moving forward then I can work with the coal and um, set up Stuff too. Why don't you Why don't you start doing that so somebody else doesn't come along and snatch you? How many do we have left? One with Tom's first right to refusal. So other than that one. one. So there's five and four. Oh. Four's got a right to refusal on it, and then five is open. Okay. Is there, no. would he want to look at first, right of first refusal on that at all? So that's on four? On five. On so five. I don't five. think you would have to as long as we know that you're interested in in the lot within the next month or so. I mean, why don't you come back next month with some type of I will I'll get some jobs together. I kind yeah. of have an idea of what size, how many offices and things we like that. We can just put a hold on a lot of the council for a month. Yeah. Is that? Mm -hmm. okay. We, uh, yeah. Anybody would come in tomorrow and say, oh, we heard somebody, well, no, I want it. <laughs> yeah. No. How about, um, I'll, yeah. I'll attend the meeting, the first meeting, so it'll be the 8th of May. Okay. I'm going to plan to come to that meeting with That would be good. Plans and things like that. Yeah, that sounds good. Do we need to make a motion or anything to put a hold on that? I don't think we need to. I think we can. We can if we want to. We don't think necessarily have to. Yeah. Yeah. We know you're coming back next month. I think anybody's going to come in and snap it up. Let's try to get out Well, we would. We got somebody. We won't let it. Right? I won't let it go. Yeah. Until Gary puts it in the paper and then maybe. 
<laughs> Do you think it's that big a news story? <laughs> it would be if he was going to landscape over there and then have shrimp swimming around to you know, making an yeah, aquatic so park or something over there. <laughs> Have a good evening. Yep, you too, family. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Uh, we have our Morrison County Public Works cleanup uh, agreement we have to put in our actually a first spring cleanup, April 29th, um, 2017. If you guys had a chance to take a look at that grant proposal, we have to officially accept that. Technically, two different grants, it looks like. There's a city recycling grant for $2,393, and then it's just um, a cleanup day grant for yeah. $1,170. I would make a motion that we uh, accept or agree with Morrison County on the cleanup grant. You need separate motions, or can we put them all in one? Yeah, you should be able to do one. So the recycling and the cleanup day grant. There's a motion on the by Mike and second by Kyle. All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Carried unanimously. Uh, spring cleanup is scheduled April 29th, and that is from 8 to 10 a.m. Saturday morning. Yes. I will not be in town that whole weekend. So. It is an hour shorter this year. I think with last year we had it open for three hours, and it seems like the last hour we don't get down there. And wait. Yeah, we just stand around. People so. want to get rid of their stuff and post the times out there and get them out there. They'll get there. Yeah, it is. If they're late, yeah. <clears throat> Terry will take it. <laughs> have my own junk. <laughs> well, um, yeah. I get a treasure. Yeah. Just kind of a reminder, any of the council members that can make it, uh, help is, is always needed. Um, you around? I will not be around. I'll be trying to. So I, I say, you know, okay. right now, I think it's Fisher easy. and uh, <laughs> Staff were <laughs> here. They, they get it. <laughs> we make it required. Yeah. 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 And Fish has missed the last couple of meetings, yeah. so, you know, he's got a little bit of a role he's got to make up. Yeah, uh, I'll be there again. Um, so Bob, uh, Bob's always there uh, helping. The out. fire department will go out that day also and pick up brush. Clean up will be that day as well. Yep. So. And that's at 8 a.m. Right, yep. right early in the morning. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Nicole and Linda, if you guys ain't doing anything, um, you're invited. Let me just throw the invitation. <laughs> 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 what? Huh? I said I heard a pretty good story about you. <laughs> That's from cleaning up? Yeah. What was I cleaning up? What was Someone there? else was cleaning something up. And you got splattered. And it got splattered on you. Mm. Oh. Poopy. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that. So it is true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. There, there's been a few ideals like that, but we, you know, it's it's fast paced, but we have a blast. We have a lot of fun with it. So if anybody's able to make it, it is uh, come. Yeah, we, we have a blast doing it. So. And even the firemen have yeah. a blast with uh, that end of it, because sometimes some of the residents, and it's usually past retired firefighters, that yeah. there might be a little something extra under the brush yeah. pile for them. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Okay. Uh, Golf course, uh, clubhouse lead applications. Dan, you want to come on come up? On. Sorry to keep you here so late, Pam. I think it's just kind of taking a little more time than we thought. I just uh, have a few things. Uh, park board recommendations. Um, Travis Tyson uh, would move from our regular staff to our lead position um, and move to $14 an hour is one recommendation. Um, yeah, that's worked us passing the dollar raise. Um, and then I have a couple of hirees, uh, Nicholas Schultz for the grounds crew, or Schultz, sorry, Nicholas Schultz, and Matia Moore for clubhouse staff to get started. Who is the Matia Moore. Can you imagine she just moved into the area? Yes. So I guess with the council's blessing. Yeah. Let's uh, throw a motion out there and get these. 
folks hired out so we can uh, do it all at one? Yeah, we'll do it all at one. I make a motion that we um, go with the park board re recommendations on the hirees for the clubhouse. I'm not going through all the names. <laughs> come on, come on. Make, <laughs> and I will more. second that motion. That motion on the board by Mike and second by Kyle. All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Carried unanimously. As long as we got Daniel up here, what else you got? How much? I got sentence to serve coming in Thursday. I'm going to try. We got uh, this side of the river done last week. We're going to try to get the other side cleaned up this Thursday. Okay. And then uh, probably try to get the covers off and try to take them the staples off. The free green are still frozen. Um, so get the covers off and let the frost come out. What's, our, what's your anticipated? I would say probably not this weekend. Not this weekend, maybe next Possibly. weekend. I know like all kills that drove by they're open but they're sandy and they don't have a lot of force I mean one, two, and three would be fine right now. Yes, yeah. six and seven is all clay and it's down low and it's all oh. shaded and, and just doesn't get the sun over there. Yeah. You get the car in the wrong spot and they're stuck. Okay. Not to mention the ruts. Yeah. Well, seven or one terrible really place really spongy and stuff. Like well, well let's just yeah, you know, we can tentatively go for the I mean, eighth. Just looking at the weather and stuff. If it, it stays in the mid fifties and above freezing all the rest of the weekend, I would say on the seventh or eighth we could be open. Nice. Cool. So, okay. Other than that. So well, Bill, me and you know where we're at. So it's good. Okay, thanks, Dan. Thank Thank you. You. Well, you might want to make sure um, yeah, you get the right one. Get the one that has enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. Um, did it, did it, uh, we've got NJPA representative assembly. Oh, you want to kind of shed some light on that for the yeah, council? Yeah, so I received a letter in the mail saying that there's an annual student recogni oh, recognition yeah. award. Yep. It's kind of a program or ceremony. There will be two students from each of the 24 member school districts and um, have been nominated to be recognized. And so I contacted them and I was like, well, is Piers involved? What's mm -hmm. going on? So Piers is part of the, um, the schools that have been nominated and there were two students nominated from Piers and one was Aaron Marshik and a Grace Osborne. Okay. So they kind of just asked if we wanted or if two council members were available to attend this ceremony. I went last year. Ceremony. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's really a neat deal. Um, they take uh, this recognition is for kids who had a really tough time making it um, through school and through high school for various reasons, personal, classroom, whatever. They really stood out. And some of the stories that you're going to hear about these kids is just unbelievable what they went through. Um, it was a really, really neat deal. Um, last year they held it at uh, Madden's. Yep, the same place. The same place? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it, it would be nice to get some city representation there. What day is it? Uh, April 12th. April 12th. What time? Five, uh, 5 p.m. So registration begins at 5 and then the call to order is at 5.25. So we, uh, we just kind of ask for one or two. If we can yeah, I, I'm definitely going to go again. Okay. I think it's important that we uh, recognize okay. those kids. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good time. Take one of them too with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I think we uh, nominate them. When you listen to yeah, the story of some of, these, uh, some of these kids, uh, and the hardships they've had, and the things that they've had to go through, it, uh, it it's unbelievable. I was I was totally amazed. So it's, uh, it's yeah, nice I think we need to be there and yeah. represent it. How do they get nominated to be there? Um, so they, there's there's, there's different staff members, staff members, I think, within the school that they they can nominate. Um, from Piers last year, I don't remember who the exact ones were. I know George was there, um, but I don't remember who actually represented them individually because there, there's a host of people who do it so um, yeah we had uh, we had a couple individuals last year but uh, I was uh, I was amazed at what these kids were going through trying to finish high school so it was, uh, it was a really neat deal. Um, I'll contact Dave and Steph and see if either one of them can can attend and okay. you register and see if you can. Yeah I'll, I'll, I'll definitely go and see if they can go too. Okay. 
We have an exempt permit, uh, it's a raffle permit for Father Pierce School of Religion. Okay, so you know down here, I think that was for, it was that a raffle? Yep, a raffle on June 9th. June 9th. But he and it doesn't have any issues. I'll make a motion that we uh, grant the permit to the Father Pierce School of Religion to hold their raffle. Motion on the floor by Mike. I'll second. Second by Kyle. All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Carried unanimously. We had talked at our workshop about trying to get a um, list of individuals. Um, it's kind of a focusing group for the human property. Um, I think we kind of talked about having the kind of. Uh, You're here for? Not particularly. <laughs> Not particularly. <laughs> You don't let Dan handle that? Or Scott handle yeah. that? <laughs> no, Scott just said, I need help this tonight. Can you show up and see if they have questions that I can help with? So, well, you don't have to talk about, you know, I mean, there's so many ideas. Um, and we talked about, you know, people wanting to be involved with this. And we felt that, you know, between the city council and the park board, there was also uh, some people that were that were crucial to have with different areas of uh, representation. I think, uh, well, we felt that, you know, definitely the Comprehensive Plan Committee needed to be involved, certain members of that, uh, a couple of commercial club members, and uh, along with the park board and, uh, and the city council. Um, I think we felt that the meetings were, even though, you know, would be full city council meetings, that we would post that and also take input from the uh, from the general public on what we were going to do out there. So, um, and now our staff also, I know Bob and Dan. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Um, staff not standing, obviously, this will be one the goal. Okay. And Daniel will be a part of those conversations. So, um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where we're sitting. I guess what we should probably do is to get. Council, just some council approval on that. Um, we have a list of names. I've got the people that I've talked to um, who uh, would agree to go on it, but I think maybe what we should do right now is just take and approve a committee to work with the city council and the park board, and hopefully by well our next meeting in April, or our first meeting in April. Um, the, uh, I just want to make sure that I'm not. Even an organization out that we should probably have in there to prove it on the tenth. Uh, yeah, prove it on the next meeting. If that's okay with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I guess we can just leave it as an FYI for now, and then we'll uh, we'll get it approved as an meeting. Yeah, I think that would be a, good, a great idea. Yeah. To get things going on that. Okay. And you know, the other night we talked about at the workshop having a plan before we just jump in on that. Like right. A grand plan. different representation would be good because everybody might bring some good ideas to the table. Absolutely. That are you doing open want. meetings? Huh? You, are you doing open meetings? Like you know, yeah, yeah. We would do I know there's a lot of ideas going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there is, and, and there's some there's some really good ones. And I think, if yeah, if we had the full council, we have to have an open meeting. Maybe we should What's schedule one already with the, for the general public that want to come and put their input in. Let's wait till the next meeting, Mike, if that works yeah, for you, yeah. if that's okay. Let's wait till then, we can have confirmation. We'll, we'll plan our first meeting, and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. That works for everybody. Sounds good. Okay. Good. Yeah, we have Burgraph Construction, uh, who have a proposal. If we want to move forward with that, that is the clubhouse uh, for um, the deck work we needed in the two shelter bathrooms. Um, I talked to Tommy uh, before the meeting, and this is what the number actually comes out to. Yeah. Twenty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-five dollars. Yeah. 
So the clubhouse actually separated out as about no, set that seventy-eight plus. Uh, yes, plus this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't have an issue. I think we. Where are we going to take the money from? Financial people. <laughs> because we were informed that well, uh, the Lions will throw about a thousand bucks at it. Now. Tell them to go. Or are we telling them we want it done by Memorial Weekend? Or I mean, what's your feeling, Dan? Before it happens, what? The bathrooms <laughs> would have to be done by them. The bathrooms, yeah. Before that, the clubhouse would be nice before we're open. But yeah. obviously, that's a little bit of a short notice. But I mean, if we're gonna do it, the sooner the better. Or what's all getting done? Or if you want to hold on until the fall, then yeah. it's obviously going to be. Uh, so those two bathrooms the up at the shelf. Yeah, the clubhouse, yeah. we're straightening the floor out, fixing the soft spot. Um, deck. Carpet. We the whole deck. Uh, no, just the yeah. railing and the decking. The framing looks to be pretty good. Framing is good. Yeah. Uh, the bathrooms in the shelter basically demoing and removing the uh, wall coverings, plumbing fixtures, and installing uh, new with some paint in the ceilings. We have no uh, concrete on the floor. Steel, uh, steel doors going in, um, concrete on the floor, uh, port removal, however we want to do it. We've got uh, new lighting. Uh, Yeah, pretty much a total makeover in the, in the shelter bathrooms. Is that the biggest expense of the two thousand bathrooms? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If we, you know, if we want to wait, I guess we can. We could. I don't know. Wait. We want to wait another two weeks if we can get on well, the schedule. We yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not even thinking. I mean, if we're ago. confident these things need to happen, and well, they do need to happen. And I yeah, think right. I've been in those bathrooms at the shelter. And they need if we wanted to do it a little different I'm sure we could get the uh, we could get the shelters going right away we could maybe get the uh, you know I don't know, you know if we wanted them to work on a deck and stuff I think that would really interfere with the deck won't the deck won't work would it be better to do the carpet the whole floor ripped up that could be yeah would it be better to do that first the clubhouse stuff first and then I mean I guess Terms and of your schedules, if it's a two day project and you can get it done before we open, that's what be choice. But yeah. you know, anything after that it's gonna be bathrooms won't affect business. No. Right? Like I said, the, if you're gonna do the shelters, as you long as they're done before Memorial the Weekend, then yeah, you know, schedule. Like maybe you look all the lines around the week, maybe you guys wanna do it. Well between you and Daniel to get get him on board then. You know, there's always a couple rainy a week or so or something if he if well he he's could, gonna have if he could work yeah. on a call type basis where you get a cold rainy april week or something they could rip up the clubhouse floor where no one's going to be golfing anyways right? right and i don't know what he's going to have to order as far as fixtures and petitions they're changing out the petitions in there too so oh, the bathrooms yeah, yeah so i'm not sure how long that's going to take to prefabricate or I would make a motion that we accept for draft instructions bid for twenty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-five. Did I remember that right? Mm -hmm. Twenty-two thousand seven sixty-five. Yeah. For the clubhouse upgrades and the shelter, shelter. bathrooms. That's my motion. Motion on the floor by Mike. And this was the only bid we brought. To, I mean, the only I think that's only people could. Anyone <laughs> no else would respond. We've been uh, working on this for like four months and trying to pull teeth. Or six. Yeah. six, even, yeah. Yeah. Well, I second that motion. 
Motion on the floor by Mike and second by Kyle. All those in favor, please signify by this one. Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried unanimously. The other thing is, it's not over 25000 Kyle. So we really didn't legally have to put it out on this, but it's uh, nice to we try to do it all the time, no matter what, just yeah. to give the local the people the chance to work for the city. Yeah. It's a good sign that everyone's been here. Right, yeah, it is a good sign. Um, do we have anything else? Nicole, you have anything you want? Um, yeah, I just have a few updates. Um, I wanted to let you know that Jordan will be at the April 3rd Commercial Club meeting. April 3rd, they are having the 1st 3rd? Yep, and that's at the high school at the Media Center at 6 p.m. as a social. Um, he is on the agenda. I also spoke with Brenda from the Commercial Club, um, and I have the council on the agenda to talk about the 125th year celebration. At the commercial club meeting? Yep, and that's May 1st, I'm going to guess, at 6 p.m. Uh, the location is yet to be determined. So um, I kind of want to talk to you guys about that, see if that even would work for you. I think that would be a perfect opportunity to talk about it with the commercial club. I was going to also um, invite the Lions Club members to. Do we want to do that meeting here, we say can. at the senior center? We can. we can. We can host it. Yeah, we can host it. Definitely. What days that fall on? Monday. 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 It's May 1st. Okay. So <laughs> I would just have to post to the record. And okay. So I just wanted to make sure that oh, was... Yeah, if you could do that, Nicole, and, and maybe get it posted. They are not whoever hosts kind of puts on a little hors d'oeuvres or something. Uh, you know, I'm not sure I can ask. I would yeah, imagine or, so, yeah. And then mention it to the seniors. Okay. Just let them know that we're going to use that part. Yeah. Yep. yep. Maybe they could want to mess up. Some. I was thinking that. <laughs> yeah, they want to we'll find out from Brenda what normally, because I think they I think usually right. have something. Right. And maybe these gals so can make something, something and we can give them a little something for it or whatever. Okay, so yeah, we can, we can host. I also wanted to mention I've been in contact with some people at the school, the high school. Her name is Roxanne. She does all the media center stuff. About Roxanne Lilly. Yes, yeah. thank you. Um, about getting some more content for the cable access channel. So we're working with that. So we're going to get some sports tapes, band concerts, choir concerts, okay. uh, elementary so plays. On, uh, stuff that's already been taped here. Yeah, okay. then they tape it. They tape it. It's just yep. a matter of swapping out and doing it. Are you on the TV committee? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I like I like to you know, yeah. take a charge. <laughs> I do too. Get the, yeah, get something out there. That would be I nice. Think the it's just cool. blank space. Right? Mm -hmm. Add something to it. I think there's like a two-hour, three-hour loop, and sometimes we get the, the music next door. So it'd be nice to add a little variety of things. Yeah, it would. Could have a day in the life of Mike Menden. Well, I was just going to say, you know, we can have a soap opera. Yeah. Can't <laughs> really can can follow me. <laughs> be like hey, ice road truckers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. another reality show. Perfect. Something like that. Uh, could be good. Could be a good yeah. hit. Terry, I see an editing. <laughs> <laughs> TV yeah, now. Discovery Channel. <laughs> <makes me know. laughs> Uh, if nobody else has anything, I'm more than cool. Uh, let's wrap it up, you guys. I make a motion to adjourn. Nine on the floor by Mike yeah. and second by Kyle. All votes in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Carried unanimously. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, this is going to be easy in the minutes. Mike Why? Kyle, Mike, Mike, Kyle. Mike, Kyle. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was going to say, I'll find out. You need to switch them up, everyone. Just make sure you get in these minutes, though.